Well, well, well. Look who's back. You've decided to return. Well, good, because today we are continuing down One Week Club with To Anyone For Everyone. <laughs> that was the title that I liked the most. That was awesome. But, um, in talking with uh, one of my friends who is a huge K-pop fan and their favorite group is, in fact, To Anyone, I was talking to them about this particular song, and they recommended this version of Lonely. So, I'm doing this off of recommendation. It looks like it's uh, almost like an acoustic version, so pretty excited. So anyway, <laughs> my name is Aaron. Aaron, wow! My name is Aaron, I run this channel called Guild Here 25, and I grew up as a metalhead. I, I grew up on the tail end of the big four of thrash, and into the grunge, and new metal era, and you know, I've just been kind of a fan. I've gone back and listened to a lot of classic rock and metal, uh, Iron Maiden and exactly stuff like that. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But, now I've, uh, I'm still a metalhead, but I've wanted to experiment and see what the world has to offer. And honestly, a friend of mine has recommended me K-pop, and I've been trying to kind of, like, uh, get into other music, and this seemed kind of like a interesting interest entry because... Everything that I'd had heard, I didn't like, but I told her, hey, look, <laughs> if you find a song that I, you think I would like, send it my way. And we've been here for about a year ever since. And uh, so we're going to hop right into it, shall we? And first, I got to go one, two, one. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Wow, this is Baby, I'm so 
See, this is kind of uh, something that I keep bringing up, and I think that this is a prime example of what I've been saying, and that is that sometimes you don't need the big flashy choreographies, you don't need the crazy stage presence. This is exactly um, what I feel like every band should and could do. And, and I'm not saying this because it's like, oh, this is more of a rock version or like because it's acoustic. It's just letting the music breathe and speak for itself. And then you allow the talent that have and are performing this song and have written this song to show it. You know, this is this is a display. This is a display of talent. This is a display of um, artistic expression. Uh, I just really think that this is something that all music is really lacking a lot of. And um, being able to just sit down and be like, okay, I'm just, just seeing this on. And look what it did. Like, this was so enthralling. And... I think this is actually something that a lot of, uh, almost every artist could learn from. This is like a huge teaching moment, just to be like, this is a song, and this is how you sing it. And I think that it's kind of too bad, because this video came out like 11 years ago. And I don't think it's really, I think it's changed a lot. Um... I did want to go over the lyrics a little bit, though, by the way. Um, <laughs> the words I'm saying right now, I don't know if they'll hurt you. They'll probably make you hate me forever. And this is one of those talks, right? We have to talk when you get home. You saying that um, I'm not the same as I used to be, but is not, is, is not completely untrue. This change uh, in me is, a strange, is strange to myself as well. Um, you are so kind... That's the way you are, but I don't know why I'm like this. We were so in love, and you were here now, but oh, I don't know. I want to find myself now. Uh, baby, I'm sorry. Even if when I'm with you, I'm lonely. I must be lacking when it comes to love. Please forgive this horrible person that I, ha that I am. Um, I'm sorry. This is yours and my story. I must not be worthy of this thing called love. Even though I am by your side. Baby, I'm so lonely. Um, you didn't do anything wrong. I'm the strange one. It seems I've already been prepared long ago for our breakup. I really wanted to treat you well. Out of all the times, why is it when I'm confronted by love, I am shrink shrinking away and I'm lonely endlessly? You are so kind. That's the way you are. But I don't know. I don't know. Why am I like this? We were so in love, and you're here now, but oh, I don't know, I want to find myself. And I think that's this particular line that really stuck out to me, which is like, um, it seems I've already been prepared long ago for our breakup, I really wanted to treat you well out of all the times. Why is it that when I'm confronted by love, I'm shrinking away? And I think that using the word shrinking is really kind of interesting because to me that is an that is an old um, literary term not a lot of people use the word shrink because in a way shrinking away when it's usually used in literary form usually it's kind of like oh, oh no you know and it it's almost like oh out of fear and you know a little bit of fear to what could have been what fear of what could be Fear of yourself is uh, a lot of times of how it's used. So I really think that this is quite a unique way to um, to dictate why you know she's saying seeing what she's seeing, and you know <laughs> it's interesting because the lyric it seems I've always been prepared a long ago for our breakup. So even though she wanted it even though that that's what she was striving for. She was kind of looking for a way out from the very beginning. And 
you know, I think sometimes we do that to ourselves, right? That's something that I think we really kind of hit on with ourselves is that a lot of times we either think too highly of ourselves or too lowly of ourselves. And I think there has to be a, a tempered expectation that you have to have with everything. And I think this is a song that really tackles that quite well. So anyway, I don't know. I just feel like that this uh, was a good choice. I'm actually really glad that we found this version. So uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, this this group has actually been uh, a bit of a surprise, uh, and I you know I say this quite often, but um, I don't know why. But they had the song that I dislike most out of every group that I've ever listened to. But every single time that I listen to them, I feel like my expectations are always blown out of the water. So. I think it's just probably because I'm expecting to maybe be like, oh, it's going to be this again, you know, and it's not. So I, I don't know. I'm rambling and I hope that you like the song as much as I did. I thought this was pretty dang cool. Need more songs like this. <laughs> more, more real, more real. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a good one. We shall see you later. Bye. More acoustic